Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Apologies right off the bat, I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment, so if I'm not as excited as it usually seems, that is the reason why. But I want to make this video for you guys today to have a conversation about what to expect today with Future Stars number two. Team number two of Future Stars, we have some leaks. We have to talk about the market. There's a lot of moving parts today of new SBCs, new objective, cards coming into packs, cards going out of packs. Will some of these Future Stars from team number one have a chance to go up in price like the team of the year honorable mentions did last year? And we have a leaked new icon pack in the code. That's got people buying SBC fodder already. I think it may not be time just yet, but today we might have another opportunity to do that, and especially tonight, later into Friday night. So we'll talk about that in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top with the team, right? Future Stars team number two. Yesterday we asked the question, is this team going to be better than team number one? And we've got some more leaks. We got the big names that we wanted to see. It's kind of a toss-up, but at the same time, I think some people might look at today's team as a little bit better. Now, we're going to have to see some more cards, and we know a few of them, but we're missing a few still as well. So, I want to talk about that and roll through the leaks. And Ketia, these are stats predicted, but we are getting an Arsenal striker in Ketia today in the promo. I expect him to be around the same price as Cherokee, depending on the upgrade. Now, the new leaks. Fabio Carvalho is getting himself a card, and I laughed so hard when I first saw this because, again, if you did, if you missed it last week, this card was leaked as an SBC, but it was Fabio Vieira instead. Foot Sheriff messed up. So we are getting the actual Fabio Carvalho today in packs. Looks a little underwhelming. A lot of these leaks, of course, are official stats, so that's nice to know. Same thing with Malasia. Stats expected. Hopefully they boost them up just a little bit more. This is going to be a nice Decent budget option as a left back in the Premier League, especially with the Dutch links. We're going to take a look at some more Dutch links in today's video. Another, uh, actually the twin of Quinton Timber, whose SBC we got, Jurian Timber, the one that we most know in FIFA, is getting a card in today's promo as well. So those Dutch links I would watch out for, for sure. And of course, this guy might have a little bit of extra price tag on him today because Player of the Month Rashford has been released recently. We've had many Manchester United cards, either in this week's promo, Elanga, right, in, in team number one. And we've had some nice Manchester Manchester United cards in the past couple of promos uh, that a lot of people seem to be using in their team. So that's a nice card to pull squads together today for chemistry purposes. And we got the big names. Kavicha, Kavaradona, stats official. I mean, to me, this looks just a little underwhelming, but it kind of looks a lot like Mudrick. Now, how much would this card be? If he looks a lot like Mudrick, he does not have the five-star skills on his base item. I don't know how EA is going to juice up with these cards today or put some boosts on them in terms of skill move and weak foot. That will definitely play into their price as always. But for me, this is going to be like similar to Mudrick in terms of price, but less because he doesn't link as good. Doesn't have the Chelsea links, right? And I do think that's going to have an impact on his price. I'm saying like, I don't know, maybe sort Starting off at a million coins, but then throughout the weekend, probably settling somewhere in like the 700k range. Uh, we'll just have to see. There's a lot of hype around this guy, but his links are just not that amazing. Watch out for your Syria heroes today. Those might go up a little bit uh, if so many people are going out to try this Kavicha card. Now, Musiala as well. Stats official. Underwhelming stats. We have to be honest. Uh, we wanted something bigger for Musiala. Now, these is, this is still a really good card, but I think we were hoping for something a little bit more juiced up but it does depend on the skill moves in the weak foot of course as always his base card is 4-4 his inform is 4-4 so a five star skill moves five star weak foot could make him a bit more expensive i think this is going to be our second most expensive promo card in the team today probably over a million coins but just because of the name right and that's how it looks with musiala and Kavaradona. they have the name they have the hype like mudrick did last week i think a lot of these cards we're going to talk about it some more are going to start off very expensive like team one did last week but this is the big one. Enzo Fernandez, first Chelsea card in FIFA. It's not that big of an upgrade from his SBC. It's only like plus one pace and plus two everywhere else. But this is a really, really good looking card. And a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on this today. I don't know what his price range is going to be set at. But I could honestly imagine this card being the most expensive. Being over 2 million coins today. Starting off very expensive with just a lot of hype so definitely keep an eye on this i don't know if ea are gonna do any skill move weak foot boost with that card but this is the number one i think the best card in this promo he's gonna have the best in-game playability and he's gonna be the most expensive that's the big name right so we're hyped for all those guys we got the players that we wanted right we talked about that in yesterday's video we are getting the players that we wanted now chelsea wasn't just done we're getting body of shield as well he doesn't look that insane statistically but he's probably going to be a budget beast he's a huge in game he's absolutely like a wall uh with his player build and it also doesn't say that he's in team two so i don't know if this is going to be an sbc 
I don't know if this is going to be in packs today. That's kind of a, a little bit of a question mark that we didn't expect because all these other guys say team two. But that's something interesting there with Body of Shield, but that's probably a cheaper card. I would imagine, even with Chelsea links, look at Kalulu, right? 100,000 coins. I'd imagine this today probably starting off a bit too expensive at like 200,000 coins, then maybe dropping off. We'll just have to see. But the stats look decent. Not that amazing. Now, we'll roll up a little bit more. We do have another Future Stars Academy leak. Now, we have two at the moment, but this one is brand new. Future Stars Academy, Ramsey, Jacob Ramsey. Last week, we started off with the Lindstrom um, player. I believe Lindstrom and Anthony are still there. So we're going to have a third, most likely, Future Stars Academy player added in today. I don't know if it's going to be Ramsey or if it is going to be Nuno Tavares. He was leaked first. Um, but not necessarily dropping in the game first. So keep an eye out for this. Either of these two will be in the game today. There could be some movement on the market, especially if this Nuno Cavares comes in and has some really good stats. So that's our objective content today um, between those two, Ramsey or Nuno Tavares. Now scrolling up a bit more through the leaks, hey, EA, they leaked this one for uh, for themselves. They changed, and this is kind of a crazy situation. Remember the Ericsson situation last year where all of the Ericssons in the game, if you have one in your club or in your transfer list, it got like automatically upgraded to his new promo card, the Foot Fantasy. Well, that is what happened with Iker Bravo. And if you check the popular page, uh, he's here, right? So this is a card that was not leaked originally, but EA kind of just messed up again and put it in the game. I mean, I know a bunch of people uh, that actually have this card. Check your club. Check your rare uh, bronzes in your club because your rare bronze Iker Bravo might have just automatically uh, morphed into a future stars card, which doesn't look that amazing, but it is what it is. EA acknowledged the issue. They said the base version was incorrectly updated. Uh, the impacted version will remain unchanged and players will remain players were previously unable to enter foot matches with this guy and uh now you can actually so you can play with the future stars team two player if you have this guy but the reason he's not on the market and the reason his card is extinct is because his price range is set at like five thousand coins so good luck trying to snipe him i bet a lot of not not a lot of people are listing him up but that is a card that's going to be in today's promo shout out to ea for the leak and then the final leak that we have as of right now is timber now we just had quinton timber this is his brother Jurian Timber, and I would assume these are confirmed stats, so actually a huge W if you took, honestly, it doesn't even matter. If you took the center back Timber, now you can have the brother partnership as center backs in your team, or you can do a CDM and a center back partnership. This is this is big. Like, this is really, really cool. GG's to EA for putting the twins uh, in the Future Stars promo. I think a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of hype for this Timber card today, and I do think it's going to impact one card on the market. Watch out for Gakpo, because right now, Gakpo is like the card that people are le linking uh, the Quentin Timber SBC to. His price is, of course, like doubled from 40,000 coins up to 80k. I would imagine that this Gakpo card would, it was 84k earlier yesterday. I would imagine that this would actually drop because of the new timber coming in the game today. Uh, you could just buy this, put it in your team. I don't expect this to be too much more than. You know, maybe 100, 150K, it seems steep and it hopefully will be cheaper than that. But since the hype of the big SBC of Quinton Timber, I do believe he'll carry a more expensive price tag. So, yeah, just watch out for that. That's going to be a, one of the cool storylines uh, of the game today. Those are all of the promo card leaks that we have right now. I believe it's nine players, so I would expect to see a few more, but not entirely sure on that. Now, quick two things, SBCs. I think this SBC is coming today. If I had to guess, I would guess that uh, Charles de Quetelaire would be our SBC. This just seems to be a bigger future star and just a bigger player in the world with more fans watching AC Milan, in my opinion, uh, than the other future stars SBC that is leaked. I would imagine this is dropping today. It was also leaked first. So watch out for this one. And then our other outstanding SBC leak is Taram. And this could be a really, really nice card. We talked about it uh, earlier. Um, it could be today as well. I mean, this one would have more FIFA hype per se. This one might have more IRL hype. So we'll see which way EA goes today, but I'm guessing the Ketelera, but this is also an option. And that kind of rounds out our content for today, right? One player in objectives, one player SBC, and then, uh, of course, the new cards that are in packs. Now, of course, beware. Some of those leaks that we looked at, they might be, um, you know, in the mini release. So some of those cards we may not actually see today. That's something to kind of keep in mind as well. Now, part of the store today that I do believe will be updated is a brand new token pack, the Future Stars Cornerstone Pack. If you need this Future Star Swap token, which by the way, I don't think they're doing bonus tokens. I think they told us 30 tokens, and this is part of that 30. I don't think the store packs are bonus this time with the way they worded it on the website. So this is going away today. I expect a new token pack to be available 
today on this game. And then one thing, quick thing that I forgot about SBCs as well. We might have a player of the month today. Player of the month, Osaman, which um, depending on how big the boost is, may end up being a decent link to uh, the brand new Kavara Dona card. So Osaman's got a couple informs. Um, of course, he's got the 87. So his player of the month should be an 88, hopefully, maybe an 89. Where's the 87 inform in here, man? I got it on my transfer list. But, you know, Osaman's probably going to be an 88 or an 89. And I would imagine that could drop today, and it might be early, right? Play of the month on Friday, sometimes drop early. Uh, but that is potential SBC for today as well. So that's kind of all the content I'm expecting today. Let's talk about the market. And specifically, the market in terms of should you be selling your teams? Because... We know the market's very high, and we remember how the market was last week, right? Remember how all of these honorable mention cards last week, with the content just being okay, and it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was an absolutely insane day. Harry Kane last week, I bought on Friday after content because he was still kind of low at 300,000 coins, maybe even like 305 or something, and now he's up to 390, right? All of these cards have risen up big time from the honorable mentions team, and that started last week when the content was kind of quiet. Now, today, I don't think it's going to be as quiet. Quiet, but that kind of thought is in our minds where would any of the future stars from team number one end up rising in price today as well? That's something to keep in mind. Of course, if a new card is coming out, like, you know, got to be careful with um, the maybe the Alvarez because of Enketia or, you know, Cavaradona. I don't know if he's going to have striker position change or anything like that. But you have to be careful, of course, of new cards that could be coming out as a substitute for one of the future stars that is in team one. But like this Gavi, bro, Gavi, wow. Gavi was 540 a couple hours ago. Now he is 585. So some of these guys, if they're still low around the content drop today, the rare ones specifically. As I look at Team 1, again, the rare ones to me would be Mudrik, right? Mudrik is kind of a double-edged sword today. You've got two Chelsea players that might be in the promo squad today. But then at the same time, you also have Cavaradona that's dropping. So tough one there, but I think the Chelsea links might prevail. Keep an eye on this card. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing you're trying to... Um, settle with today Cherokee is actually down a lot right now 550 that's low Gavardio 310 Vitina 274 some of these guys dropped with marquee matchup supply yesterday if they're still low at content the rare ones again Modric Gavi Alvarez Adiemi Vitina um I would I would shout Cherokee and Gavardio on that list as well maybe rising up a little bit today but I just don't know if they'll rise up as much as these team of the year cards did last week because these guys were all absolutely booming in price davies 355 he might go up more today i really do believe guys that with the cards coming out today and with the market the way that it is it's going to be a lot like last week and we're just going to see prices stay high friday morning today i doubt there's going to be a lot of panic selling either like i bought a messy yesterday at 1.5 mil flat i'm hoping that he can get even more rare and go up another like 50k i really don't have many fears about a lot of meta cards on this market right now I know we do have a big SBC leak, though, and I do want to take a look at that with you guys, but I don't think that's dropping today. The only other SBC that we have to watch out for today is a refresh of the 87-plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick. And yes, this is a nice SBC. Yes, a lot of people are going to do it. It's three squads. You guys remember when this dropped on Sunday, you had some nice spikes on like 86s, 87s, 84s, 85s, like especially 84s and 87s, I think. Maybe even 88s did pretty well. This is refreshing today. So you might have some interesting movements with fodder around content. I don't think it would be that crazy, uh, but people love player picks like this and people have swaps rewards that they might be opening up today. So you could see movement on fodder um, in terms of the that SBC today, and maybe that SBC refreshing as well creates just a little bit of panic on the market. Maybe just a drop where you can buy some cards a little bit lower and then maybe seeing a rise into the nighttime tonight on Friday as the market probably should be rising. There's a lot of weekly demand with the team of the week that there is out right now. A lot of good reds in that one. So let's talk fodder though, because not only do we have the 87 plus player pick refresh today, we've got this SBC on our minds. It's a big one. Uh, and it is the 89 plus prime or World Cup icon pack. It's the first SBC that does not include mids, only primes, and World Cup icons. Funny thing about this, EA is trying to be tricky, right? They take out the mids. They also do the 89 plus. 89 plus does not remove any prime icons. All prime icons are 89 rated or above. L. And, you know, World Cup icons that are in this pack as well. Um, there are only three that will be missing out. Sucare, Luis Hernandez, and I forget the last one, but, you know, um, it's kind of an L. Oh, Zambrata. Zambrata is uh, an AW, right, that you maybe want to get out of this pack. So this, this icon pack, yes, is cool, and there's going to be a lot of hype around it, but honestly, I'm thinking Sunday 
or Monday. Doubt this drops today. I'd be honestly pretty shocked uh, if EA did that today. But that had a lot of people investing in fodder yesterday. Take a look at 87s. You can see that when this news broke yesterday, people were like, oh my goodness, this must be coming today. Look at Robo from 22K all to 25, straight back down to 22 because the SBC was not released. Now people are still investing in this stuff, but I think what I would do is try to get on bids today and I would try to wait until later into the night on Friday night. I'm not expecting fodder to drop that much today. There's so many SBCs that are out. I don't think that a ton of people are gonna open lightning round packs today. Um, and you know, that 87 plus uh, SBC is there for the refresh today. So I think you'll be able to get 87 at like 21 22k 88s at 30 i think you might be able to get and watch the high tier part of the market right 91 60k this sbc 89 plus prime or world cup icon we looked at it yesterday on stream we have not had an icon pack cost more than 280,000 coins yet this year this one might be the most expensive but also it could still fit in that threshold of around under 300k so just be careful with that because this is going to be an SBC a lot of people are looking forward to this weekend, and we're going to be talking about it a lot. But I think fodder will be a good buy later tonight on bid, especially if you wait till the later night, less competition. Uh, but the bids, there, there will still be lightning rounds that will be run, and there will still be open bids to be had. So if you can do that, I would say go for it. Look, 84s, like we said, Thursdays take the fodder market down. Even with an SBC like that leaked or put into the code, you see these guys going down. Telemans yesterday started the day at, I mean, I believe they were 6K, right? 6K and then boom, they've just been dropping uh, because so many people that had them are selling, undercutting, listing down, worried about uh, what could be happening with the supply coming this weekend. But really, I don't think they're going to move that much. Maybe at the very lowest, these 84s go to 4K. That's just because they get packed more. Now, 83s, they're probably going to drop a little bit. Um, I would see those down at 1K, but you know, the rest of the fodder market's probably going to stay pretty steady. Maybe, again, like we said, with 87 plus refresh, maybe a little bit of a spike there, but I think that spike would come back down later into the evening time tonight on Friday for a good buying opportunity. Now, last thing I want to talk about, I mentioned team of the week, right? I want to talk about this man specifically once again. Ashraf Hakimi in form. Team of the week packs and supply from riding grounds today are really going to hurt the team of the week, specifically Ravinia and Hakimi. I know they're tough to pack, but I know they're in high demand as well, uh, but they're going to get packed. They will. I mean, that's what happens every single Friday is we see the drops on prices uh, of the current impacts team of the week card. So absolutely be careful with those and good luck with your reds. If you're playing weekend this weekend, hopefully you get one of those two guys. That would be absolutely fantastic. So I don't see a lot of panic today. I just see a market that's probably going to stay pretty steady unless EA do something crazy. And I really don't even expect them to do anything crazy today. So watch out for out of packs cards like Centurions. Um, Foot Heroes, right? I mentioned the Foot Heroes uh, with the Kavara Dona. That's going to be one of the easiest ways that people will link his card. How much is Cordoba? Cordoba is 270, right? Di Natale, how much is he? That's the kind of cards I would maybe look into today for the potential of a rise uh, on the hero side of things. And then, of course, watch your out of packs cards as always for fluctuations on this game. But that's going to be the video for me today. Today, guys, if you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.